guys, so I wanted to do a follow-up video from last night's trash pick. Um, it was a live video, so I didn't get to come home and do the recap. Um, Iris and I ended up going to one more small neighborhood that's by my house. Um, it was about a 20 minute drive in between the neighborhoods from where we were at to where we were coming to. So I didn't want to do a live, you know, stream during that time. And I wasn't sure if we we're going to do it anyways, because we, we ended up making a pit stop at the, uh, at the gas station anyways, to get her, her snacks. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that we found. We did really good. And, um, especially with these shoes, cause I know a lot of you ladies like to look at the shoes. I'm take, let you look at them, see what y'all think. All right. So we're going to do this in bits and portions. Uh, we had a bunch of good women's shoes. Uh, we have, you know, just like some regular old, you know, nothing fancy like flip flops. Um, got these sandals right here. I don't even know what these guys are. They're like they're made out of tires. Uh, but you got these Steve Madden wedges here. Uh, you got these are called a New Day. I don't know if they're a good brand or not. They don't look to be, but I could be completely wrong. You got these right here by Steve Madden. These are brand new. They never even wore these. Uh, they're kind of dingy around the sides, but that could be just from handling because they don't look like they've ever been worn if you look at the bottom. See that? These are some other Steve Maddens. These do, well, these haven't been worn either. So I can't sell these as new, but I can use them as like new, like some like, like new. Uh, I'll have to see how much they're worth. I'm not sure. Steve Maddens, I'm not, I don't know anything about shoes. Uh, these are Geo Walk by Skechers. These are definitely used, but you know, still in good condition. You gotta clean them up a little bit. Got these uh, Air Max, what are they? Uh, I don't know, Vapor Max. Those are real nice. Got some more, what are these, Skechers? I don't know what they are, but they're walking shoes. Good condition. These are definitely Skechers. Again, good condition shoes. These are the Tory Burch uh, sandals. These are very nice. Um, these are by a company called Sam Edelman, I think. I don't know if it's a good brand or not. You got these ones called Sam and Libby. Don't know if they're good or not. Got a few clothes. We're going to go through that too. Well, I don't know if I go through each individual piece, but I'll just kind of stack them up so you can see what they look like. And uh, got some more stuff. All right, so we also found a stack full of clothes. Uh, a lot of women's clothing. Real good condition. Uh, some of the stuff still has tags on it. So we're going to donate all these clothes for sure. I don't sell clothes, so this will all get donated. Okay, we also come across all these men's shoes. Um, these are in f fair condition. They're not good condition, but they just need to be cleaned up. So I'm going to go and donate these and uh, see if anybody can use them. There was another bag full, full of shoes. Well, there's actually two bags, and these here are really too far gone. I'm not going to be able to sell those. They're, they're really, really bad. The soles are coming apart. They're too ripped up. So those are just going to have to go to be thrown away. But I think these are salvageable. I won't try to sell them because um, I don't want to clean them all up. But uh, I'm sure a homeless shelter or something like that can use them. All right. I also found a bunch of men's clothes, guys. A bunch of Ar Under Armour and Nike dry fit shirts. Um, unfortunately, I don't wear these kind of shirts. I don't wear polos. I uh, don't like the way they fit. So I don't sell these either. So this is all going to go donated. Good shirts. Really, really good shirts, man. A bunch of bathing suits, workout clothes. Um, those can sell for good money too if you're into that. But again, I don't sell this kind of stuff. It'll just sit there. So it's all going to get donated. I did like these shoes. I'll probably try to sell these. Maybe. And for sure going to donate these sandals. Got some slippers and wedges and stuff like that. Uh, also found me a couple shirts that I do like. I do like these button down shirts. I got that one and this one here that I'm going to end up keeping. I tried them on, they fit, so I'll be wearing those. All right, here's that little speaker. When I first picked it up, I thought it was an amplifier. Just at first looking at it, but uh, it's, a, it's a speaker. It doesn't work. It does connect to my phone, turns on, but I guess the speaker's blown or something because it doesn't play any music. And um, I even tried putting it like on AM, FM radio. And, and nothing seems to work. The preset buttons, nothing works. It doesn't, I mean, it, it, it moves up and down, but you can't tune anything. Well, it looks like that's tuning now. Let's try FM. It looks like it's trying to work, but no sound at all. So, antenna's there, it works. 
I mean, well, antenna's there, but it turns on, but it doesn't play any sound. So I guess the speaker's blown. So no good. Let's throw that back away. All right, some of the stuff that I did find that wasn't on camera. Um, like I said, we did do some picking for a little bit right after was a set of plates. This one here is by a company called Sango uh, Concepts, and this is the avocado concept uh, model. Um, obviously, because it looks like the avocado peel. Some of these can go for good money. I see some of these list for $10 to $15 just for one plate. And we got six of the large plates, six bowls, four small plates, and this one small bowl here. They also put out this guy here. Is these three boxes are here full of this pattern. Um, I believe that's the name right here. It says Cambria Ocean. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if this is the right design or not, but it's full of this design, like a little floor pattern with the little spiral uh, design on the plate itself. Small plates, little plates, bunch of little cups and saucers, and obviously, you know, like the little creamer dispenser or whatever. So that's pretty decent. I think I'm pretty pretty sure I'm gonna sell these. I don't know about these. I'm, I'm not sure if I might just give them away because I don't, I don't really know a lot about them. Plus, I think these will sell faster. All right. Well, I went ahead and unpacked this set just to kind of see what I was working with. Looks like you got a bunch of big plates, a bunch of little small plates, a bunch of saucers, and teacups, and three cut teacups without anything. Sugar little bowl thing creamer like a little platter there and a large bowl nice little set i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet all right guys we're gonna wrap up the video now with the last few things that we found unfortunately this air compressor here did not work uh it's got some kind of fault in the motor maybe it seized up or something because this keeps tripping it sounds like it wants to turn on and you hear it grinding but then it trips um, I've reset it a couple times and it's a no-go. Uh, this guy here, it's a blender. It's like a hand handheld blender. It, it acts like it wants to work. Um, it's, uh, it's only been charged for literally like two minutes. And, uh, and I turn it on and it starts to turn off. So I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit and see if it'll work. A um, couple little baskets. I'll just donate those. Got this rocking chair. That guy right there was off camera. You guys didn't see that one. It's a real good condition. Uh, pretty solid. Didn't see any cracks or anything in it. Um, pretty, like I said, um, pretty pretty steady there. Could use a painting, but other than that, we're gonna call it good. Got that um, potted plant, it's artificial. It looks nice, we'll sell that. Pick these two bikes. Um, a lot of time these bikes, um, I keep them just for the frames, just because some of these aluminum frames are gonna be worth some money. This is by Riley USA, bought at Sunday Ski Sports. Um, it could be a two, three hundred dollar frame just by itself, even without the tires. And got this guy here. This one is a Everest. Now, I don't know much about these, so let's see the bike. And lastly, we got the I think it's like an extra large dog crate, maybe double extra large dog crate. Looks to be brand new. Looks like it's ever even been used. I'm sure, it has been, but that's how good condition it is has a little divider in there so if the dog has puppies they sometimes will put them separate or if you have two dogs keep them separated there and the slate top solid wood coffee table this guy's in really really good condition i really like this guy here i uh, just need some minor touch-up work someone could sand this down re-varnish it stain it or whatever and they'll be set to go all right guys well that's going to do it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it uh this was really like the part two to the live um, I didn't get a chance to record any more that night. Uh, I was getting kind of late and uh, we went really through only one more neighborhood. Iris was tired, so I just kind of let her rest while I just went through one more section. And um, that was it. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.